Welcome, in front of me I have Redmi Watch 5 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Mi Fitness application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue and now we can open the Mi Fitness application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app, you should see the health page now. Tap on the device icon to open the device page. On this page, you should see your Redmi Watch 5. Now scroll down and find the option called notifications and calls. And once you find it, tap on it. Oh, my bad. Notifications and calls. And here we have app notifications, incoming calls. And the app notifications are notifications uh, from the not applications on your phone, of course. And the incoming calls is the notifications for calls. So if somebody calls you on your phone. First, let's tap on app notifications. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed, you will see this pop up on the screen. And what we need to do is to tap on OK. And it will redirect you to the device and app notifications. Here you need to find the uh, Mi Fitness application on the, on the list. Tap on it. Then tap on the switch next to allow notification access and tap on allow. And then you can tap on the back button to go back. And the notifications should be enabled now. And you can enable and disable more options like receive only when the phone is locked. If this option is enabled and you're using your phone, the screen on your phone is uh, turned on, you won't be receiving the notifications on your uh, watch. If it's disabled, you won't be receiving, or rather you will be receiving them even though the screen is turned on on your phone. Next we have wake screen. This option basically, when you enable it, it will wake up the screen each time you receive the notification on your watch. And then we have the notify only when worn. If this option is enabled, and you're not wearing your watch, you won't be receiving the notifications on it. So, for example, mine won't receive notifications because it's on the desk. But I will disable this option for it to work. And then we have the uh, options for the notifications. We have mirror notifications from phone. Basically, it will mirror the settings for the notifications uh, from your phone. And the next we have custom. And if you select this option, it will open the list of applications. You can find the apps you want to uh, receive the notifications from. And once you find them, you can enable them by tapping on the switch next to them. And if you turn on the notifications, for example, for Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. If you disabled, disable it, it won't be forwarded to your watch. It will be only visible on your phone. Okay. Once you're done with the app notifications, go to incoming calls. And here you can enable the notifications for uh, calls. So if somebody calls you on your phone, your watch will basically vibrate and display the um, a number or the contact info. You don't need to enable it, but if you want to use it, tap on switch and allow the required permissions. Next, we have the show contact info. Basically, it will display the name of the contact if this contact is saved on your phone and stuff like that. So if you want to see more detailed information, enable the option and allow the required permissions. And last option is a reply with messages. So it will allow you to reply uh, with messages to your calls if you miss them, for example. If you want to use it, tap on the switch, tap on allow and allow it. And then you can edit the quick responses and you can add new ones, re remove the old ones. And if you want to remove them, you tap on the minus button here, tap on the check mark and you can edit it to your liking. Okay. And the calls are enabled now, so it should be working. Uh, to test it, I'm going to send myself a message on Discord. I turned on Discord on the list of applications, so it should be working. As you can see, we got the notification from our phone, or rather on our phone, and also on our watch. If you miss the notification, you can swipe down from the top of the screen uh, on the current watch face on the home screen to open the notification panel, and you will see your notification. Okay. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.